In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to install WordPress using the all-new Mojo Marketplace powered quick install. It all begins inside of your cPanel. Once you are logged into your cPanel, scroll down until you see the software slash services section. Here you will click on the quick install icon and then you will select WordPress from the options on the left. Because the new quick install is powered by the Mojo Marketplace, this means that you now have access to additional products and services. For example, if installing this yourself is not something that you want to do, you can always opt in for such services. Uh, as a quick demonstration, I'm going to scroll down here and you can see that they have various packages to choose from. The starter package, for example, will include the installation. Uh, the theme installation itself and a $49 credit towards the purchase of a premium theme that you can use to further customize your particular installation of WordPress. In this case I'm going to show you how to do it yourself because it is very quick and easy. Uh, let's find the install WordPress button which is right here. Let's click on that and we're going to select the domain name where we want our WordPress installation to go into. Now. I have this domain name opened up on a separate tab. As you can see, there's absolutely no content here at this time. And I want to install WordPress directly on the domain name itself. So I'm going to leave the install path completely blank, but I am going to provide an email address. For blog title, just uh, type in the name of your website, for example, uh, Rose's Jewelry or Frank's Pizza or whatever it is that your website is going to be about. Next, we'll provide a username and type in your first and last name. Alright, when you are ready to proceed, just click on the install WordPress button. After a few seconds, your installation will be complete. And there we go. We can click on this little pull down menu here and we'll see our credentials. So we're going to copy this uh, password at this time so that we can log in to our new copy of WordPress. You will also notice the path to the administration area for your new installation of WordPress. So let's take a look at our domain now. If we refresh the page, boom, you can see that our installation of WordPress has taken place and everything is ready to go. Uh, let's uh, go to the admin area, which is wp-admin. All we have to do is type it in at the end, or we could probably just click on that uh, link. enter. We'll use the username that we selected and we'll paste the password in here. So once we have typed in all this stuff we're going to click the login button and we are ready to get started. Now one of the very first things that I always do after a fresh installation of WordPress is that I go to the users section, select my profile, and proceed to change my password to something that means a little bit more to me. All right, and that's it. So now we can log into our WordPress at any time using our own password and uh, we are ready to go.